Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Dutchman Spotlight Farm Management with Big Farmnet. Digitization is a big buzzword in these days all over the world. It becomes also more and more important in our business. Today, we are already collecting a lot of data with our production and climate computers. Efficiency is a key factor in our business. Our farm management systems allow the customer to see the differences between his houses and his farms. Big Dutchman and Big Farmnet will support you for taking the right decisions. Christian, let's speak about our solution in detail. Yes, thank you, Ralph. I'd like to show you a screen about our world of Big Farmnet. This world, the main leader on the, in the house is our Viper Touch. The Viper Touch has a lot of sensors that are connected and also we have a lot of counters like feed counters, water counters or energy counters that are connected that you can see on the left. Here we have devices that can be connected inside a house via internal house bus. This is a so-called CAN bus, a standard, industry standard. We are fast Ethernet network. All the information are available with a big farm net, manage the software. This software connects all the houses on the farm. And also our alarm devices, like the AC Touch, which can be placed via house or via uh, farm. The data is then available via remote devices, smartphones, tablets, and other remote connections so that you can always get information also from outside the farm. One word about a Viper Touch. The Viper Touch has a large 10 inch display nowadays, still available as 7 inch. We have now installed web technology inside. This web technology allows fluent usage. With this fluent usage, also simple workers are able to handle it. What Viper also provides is the main data that is needed for farm management, Ralph. And here we can see that the um, information need to be really valid. So you need to trust this information. One example, bird weighing. We just launched an optimized software, so it's much more accurate. So you get a much better forecast on slaughter weights. There's also the possibility to use silo scales, for example. The silo scales have, uh, can be influenced by externals by the truck driver and having the truck driver um, or lets the truck driver blow feed into the silo is a problem because when there is a parallel running feeding it will disturb the feed recordings. Uh, we also have our new climate control which is a self-learning algorithm. This self-learning algorithm needs perfect data otherwise it would not work correct. And it's also important that we have information about the dead, the dead birds. Yeah, so these need to be manually entered. And then you have full information and valid data. Our IC Touch needs to be observed because the AC Touch is the system that will record failures. And that can be something that you have to discuss with your insurance company. So that's really important to be added to, our, uh, to the digital farm. This is a big farm that manages your overview, a software. We will later see a few more slides. It's a Windows software and available for broiler and breeder. So the software has a bunch of functionalities. Just a quick overview. In the management area, all the bird housing and when you have to deliver the birds, this can be managed here. And you have to collect or you have to choose the right um, reference curve. Then there's graph reports. The service phase will be supported. And there are some additional extras, timers, counters, that are used for any purpose that we don't have as a standard in our controllers. For example, for an extra energy counter or for some other things. On the production side, we have the feed and silo recording. We will later see a few slides. Water consumption and water flow is important, light with dimming and um, yeah, switching on and off, many different groups nowadays. And we also have the option egg counting for the breeding um, for, for breeders on the farm. 
On the climate side, there's a lot of functionality inside the climate, from tunnel ventilation to combi-tunnel ventilation, uh, natural ventilation, all these systems are supported. Then we have on the data handling side, a lot of information history is needed. We will talk about that later, Ralph will tell about that. And we have data storage as a basic for sure, and the data exchange becomes more and more important so that also uh, external are have the possibility to get some data. So the alarm lock as well. On the dashboard, you can see the individual houses and values of these houses, like feed per bird, water per bird, and dead birds. So these information are displayed in a nice overview, and you can add more information, notes, and other things. The gray columns means there is a reference behind, and you can compare your values against the reference. These kind of dashboards can be configured like the customer wants. In this example, we also can see some climate information, and you also have the possibilities to add some videos, live streams from an installed webcam. This allows a fast overview, and this can be seen like your cockpit from your farm. There's another view available, the so-called table view. This table view is very popular at ma for many customers, because here you can also compare the individual houses with the current values in a nice way. Be they can be supported in a nice way with some extra dots showing you Am I on track or not? Green means everything is okay. Orange means, yeah, I need to observe. But red means you have to take action. That's really important here. So I have also a quick tour about some more details if you go on a house level. So now we are entering the house level. And here we can see, for example, in-house uh, combinatorial two, that there is a problem. And now I'm going into this house level, and there I can see that the animal weight is not like expected. It's red. You have to take action. You can also look on the water and feed and compare it there. Mortality makes an important rule. Together with all these factors, we have the poultry efficiency factor, guiding you in the right direction. This is the everyday observation view. If you need more details, you always can click into the detail area. There you find all available information and details. You can change things. But for the daily view, this is not needed. But once per week, you want to make a report, for example. In the report area, it's very simple to add tables, individual values, and have a nice overview. This is a preview that can be printed out or be converted to a PDF. And it's easy to change the, the weeks, for example, if you want to have two weeks in the screen, or you could also take the complete batch into one screen. On the climate side, we have the possibility to look on the set values, humidity, temperature set point. You can see the um, yeah, CO2 level, the demand for heating, and the ventilation level. All these information are directly available at a glance. And here again, there's a possibility to look into the details. And here you can directly change to a set value and change it immediately at that moment. So, Ralph, this was just a quick overview about the possibilities we have. Um, when you talk to customer, what do they explain to you? Yes, my customers very often ask themselves two important questions. How can Big Farmnet help for a better understanding of my barn? And how can Big Farmnet help to improve my farm management? There are a lot of ways to answer these questions. One way is to look into the history fun function of Big Farmnet. This function allows farmers to create different curves so they can compare their production and climber results and data as they want to do. The system provides predefined analyses for climber and production. On the other hand, you can create also your own curves. Let's have a look on a sample. In this case, we have a view on a real temperature curve during the day in a broiler shed. The temperature is generally very equal, mm -hmm. but only at one point of the day there is a peak. And now we want to analyze where this peak comes from. So the first thing I want to check 
is if anybody had modified the set point of the temperature. So I will put the curve for the set point into the graphic. As we can see, nobody changed the set point of temperature because the black line is very straight. Then I would try to have a look on the humidity development in the shed. Immediately, we can see that the humidity shows the same behavior like the temperature, exactly with the same moment of the peak. But this is not the reason for the peak. It just shows that the same situation. But with the time ruler, you can see the peak is very early in the morning. So maybe it has something to do with the lights. I'm adding the light program to the curve. And yes, we can see that might be the reason. Because when light starts, birds get up, get up and start moving and more and more breathing. To verify this conclusion, we can check if this happened also all the last days. So in Big FarmNet, I can very fast change the graphic in the way that I see the last seven days. As we can see, every day we have the same situation in the morning with this peak when the light starts. So Christian, this is about analyzing the past. What can the farmer do when he wants to react on something which he has seen in the historical development? Yeah, he can use a remote access for sure. This remote access will help him to um, observe the farm. But um, when you talk to customer, what do they tell you? Why do they, or for what do they want to use the remote access? The customers have a lot of reasons to use remote control. Especially in these times, there are some overriding reasons, like the public health care because of COVID-19 protection measurements as well as sanitary reasons to avert, avoid bird illnesses. Of course, also private reasons play a role. But the most important reason, of course, is to provide the best ambience for our birds. 24-7, that's what we want to do. So if we speak about remote control, then we speak about different people. Different people means also different needs. So if we have a look from the farmer side, then we need to see that a farmer is mainly looking for a simple usage. The system must be self-explaining. Also, he needs a fast reaction to answer the alarms. He needs to have, in the end of the day, a permanent control. So it should be like as he has his farm controller every time with him. If we have a look on another group of people, the external people, like consultants from feed mill companies, consultants from uh, slaughter companies or veterinarians, they will have other needs. For them, the same operation on mobile devices and farm PC is very important. The same layout for all supported farms is a big help for them. So they get a fast overview about the farms in order to plan their visits. The tour planning following the ur urgency. And this saves a lot of time and money. And also, they have an easy comparison of financial and technical results of the different houses they are responsible for. Last but not least, we have our service people. For our service partner and service people, the easy understanding of the situation in the barn is very important. So they can provide a fast service to the customer. That means also less reaction time. And with a remote control access, they can also help the customer with the management on the farms before the problems occur, occur. That means cost savings for the farmer as well for the service companies. Also, we have the option to install some cameras into the shed. That means that we can connect them via internet with our big farmnet system. So Christian, you may now explain our solution in detail. Yes, I'd like to do that. So we have our remote control or remote access. And here you can see in the PC software, there's already the screen of the Viper Touch. Remote access, web technology. This means fast reaction. You can change values immediately, like in the same way compared to what you have on your um, Viper directly on site. You can work in the background so that the guy on site is not um, disturbed. So here we are checking times, we are checking information and values, and for example, we change the humidity set value. This can be done 
more or less in real time. And it's a nice possibility that can also be used on some smart devices. So the smart devices are tablets, mobile phones, that can be connected via Big Farmnet. And they allow to have a better overview. It can be used to receive push notifications. Yeah? So like when you have a WhatsApp inf um, information or you get a new mail, then you get a push notification and the phone is vibrating. There's also the possibility to directly change values. I have a quick overview from an example. So this is an overview about a farm with several houses. And you can see the list of information of houses. And now you can use the menu, for example, to act and see the alarm. So now I have my alarm list. And in the alarm list, I can now change or check the alarm individually. I have an information about the alarm. And now I can acknowledge so that the system knows I have seen it. And if I now go into another area, for example, I go back to my main view, then I can also try and uh, compare information. So now we can see much more information because we just rotated it. And if I move it to the side now a bit, then, or swipe, then I can see more values. So you as a user can decide how to, um, which values to add here. And that can be feed per bird yesterday compared to feed currently. There's also the possibility to use the um, current history. It's not like the, a history module that explains too much in detail, but it's a first quick overview. And it's a fast connection. So it is really something where you don't have to uh, take so much loading time. So it's yeah, like acting with a web page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the possibility we're having with our technology. So the system provides an overview, quick reactions, and easy comparings with the references from the breeding companies. And that makes fast changes in your ventilation concepts or feeding concepts possible and increase efficiency. So with this, we keeping pace and you can keep pace with this software system in the digitization. Reliable data becomes a key factor. Big Farmnet components are prepared for this future and will be updated and updatable in the future. So that's it from my side. You like to add anything, Ralph? No, thank you. Thank you very much for your interest. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us or our sales colleagues all over the world. We hope to see you again very soon. Thank you.